Microsoft normally introduces new products during its big corporate events like Microsoft Build, Ignite or Microsoft Connect. When it launched Microsoft Teams back in 2016, instead Satya Nadella was on a smaller stage inside the Microsoft building in New York. Nadella also didn't spend much time focusing on Teams, but he focused mostly on Office 365, of which Teams is part of. The developers of Teams gave all the details, but for sure nobody thought that the application would become the beneficiary of the COVID-19 remote work boom. So, what is in store for the future, if there is a pandemic-like event again in five or eight years? We've probably got a hint, once again not at one of Microsoft iconic events and not even at a more private presentation from inside the Microsoft building in New York City. We got instead a preview in Barcelona at the World Mobile Congress in 2019. And that presentation could not be any more relevant than today. Here Nadella was one of the keynote speakers and just like he did for Teams, he gave a general introduction to the future of the work environment. But interaction model going forward is with computers and computing all around us. It's no longer about being device first, it's about putting the human first and it includes all the devices in their lives. Together, these advances are shaping that next phase of innovation, enabling experiences that previously would have been unimaginable and technological breakthroughs that have been impossible. That's the world in front of us. Then, like it happened for Teams, the developers took the stage for the details. And so here is what we may expect. First, you have been asking us for more immersion so that you can see more of the holographic landscape. Second, you have been asking us for more comfort so that you can stay immersed for longer periods of time. Third, you have been asking for industry-leading value right out of the box so that you can start instantly with mixed reality solutions designed for the modern workplace. Creative companies, architects and engineers are already visualizing the future working environment with HoloLens but also with other virtual and augmented reality devices. So in the future we might go from this to this. Follow me. This is a browser that's running Microsoft Teams, which is a tool that we use back home to collaborate. Let me see what the team's been working on. Okay. It looks like they've got a surprise for me in the Playground app. I just have to say the words show surprise. All right, so let me just open up that start menu here and then place the app and then launch it. So now we're actually exiting my mixed reality home and going into an immersive experience. But notice that that browser that I had actually followed me in. Now this can actually be really useful when you have things like emails or PDFs that you need to reference while you're doing your work. I don't really want it following me around though while I'm showing you all this cool stuff, so let me just put it over here. This will also shape the way we work and study in the future, and most likely the way we will be assisted during a pandemic. HoloLens in particular will make it easier also to transition from work to leisure activities. And we all found out that when families are locked in in pandemic times, Leisure becomes an important component of the daily routine. So here I can just play a chord. Or I can play the keys one at a time. That's the world in front of us. This opportunity is what grounds us in our mission to empower, um, empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more.